Hello everyone. I'm Vikram Jamwal and I shall be presenting to you our paper on composite diffusion. The whole is greater than or equal to the sum of its parts, uh, which is a joint work done with Ramesh Foy. The problem that we are tackling is that if you have parts and if you're composing them together, the idea is that you compose, you generate and compose them in a manner that the whole retains or enhances the properties of the individual components. Why do we need to compose from the parts? Because this is a requirement in the advertisement industry where you look at few of the advertisements, you see that they are actually made up of components. And even if you go for a story illustration, you can see there may are many, many components which come together uh, to form the whole story layout. A few examples here, including illustrative story and a collage. And some of the artists, they divide the canvas into different kind of a section. For example, here are the works by Jennifer E. Young, where they logically think of the painting divided into uh, different logical components and then they finally develop them independently and then put them together. These are the compositions by another great artist, Victoria Solidarin. You can see that different individual images are resized, cropped, layered and blended together in the editing tools like Photoshop to create a beautiful composite image. Indeed, the quality of the final composite is greater than the individual segments and the composite appears as an integrated whole, as if the whole scene was actually shot as a singular image. Uh, so the idea is, can you now capture the artist's in intent in the form of a segment layout? And can you give uh, uh, descriptive textual descriptions for each of these uh, segments? And can you, you use now the diffusion models to create a composite which meets these uh, properties of the whole, uh, making uh, a beautifully blended image? And we said that indeed we can do, and the composite diffusion actually helps you do that, where the input modality for an artist is uh, principally bimodal in the term of a segment layout, the colors are not important, they just signify the segment and the textual description that goes into each of the segments. And the final generated output is a composite whole. You can extend this uh, uh, composite diffusion, uh, which now even supports uh, many kind of a control conditions, including different kind of a control conditions, for example, scribble, open pose and line art that are being fed to different segments. Uh, along with the textual description and then finally you create a composite out of it. Uh, the idea is that once you have this ability to change the layout or change the descriptions or change the control conditions, you can create a variety of outputs and it helps you, the artist, to produce at a scale both for customization as well as variety. Uh, the good thing about the composite diffusion technique is that the way it's constructed, it's direct plug and play with any kind of a model, including the fine tune model. So if this is the base model generation, you can even create using the same kind of input, just change the reference to the model, in this case, a fine tune model, and you will get different generations from those different models. In this case, we tested it on some 10 different fine tune models. Our method is principally a two-stage method which divides the whole process in a modular way into a development stage which is called the scaffolding stage in which the main idea is that each uh, segment is developed independently of the other and uh, that means they are not aware of each other when they develop uh, the inputs go specifically to each segment. Uh, this can be done in three manners. For example, you can take reference images and noise them to a particular time step T, or you can take the particular segments and with the help of mask and background image develop those segments, or you can take control conditions which are specific to those segments and develop uh, them for a certain number of time steps. And the idea is that after you have anchored the image well, then you can use uh, more uh, in context development, that means the same data is being fed at each stage and uh, <clears throat> you get, apply, even if you're applying segment conditions, you apply them to the same latent and then compose at each stage. 
the idea is that by kind of uh, developing in the context of each other they are more harmonized and well blended together now you see an example of uh, these stages in this case the scaffolding stage is the 20 percent of the time steps which is denoted by a, a factor called uh, kappa which is a scaffolding factor uh, and in that we anchor the image in this particular case for the first 10 steps and for the next 40 steps we let the harmonization take over the further impact of this kappa factor is that it gives a very nice control to the artist that by kind of a controlling the kappa value or the scaffolding value you can make the segments blend together uh, to a different extent for example for a low value you have a totally merged image and for a higher value you have a more collage kind of a picture and depends upon the final application that you are aiming for similarly for the reference images the kappa factor controls how much blending do you want in the generations composite diffusion when combined with control conditions plays even a more effective part than just the text and the control conditions for example for the things that you see uh, in this image uh, with text and control condition for a complex scenes uh, we don't get uh, the fidelity in the uh, content production whereas when you use it with composite diffusions the parts get generated well in those locations and they can harmonize well too in this case if you see that you have an image where you want four different seasons to appear in different parts of the image but it's uh, almost impossible with the base uh, diffusion models or with just the text and the control conditions but if you combine it with the composite diffusion you can get uh, very distinct uh, regions with four different seasons this is just for as an illustrative example for the capabilities that it creates we do a comprehensive evaluation we first of all develop a quality model because uh, we uh, <coughs> feel that the metrics like fid or precision and recall are not effective in the way that we want to measure the quality in composite diffusion so we developed this comprehensive framework on these five different dim dimensions which measure aesthetics the content fidelity the spatial uh, fidelity the technical quality and the blending and the harmony and we uh, develop uh, comprehensive baselines too and baselines are of three kinds the first is of the code models which are text to uh, image generation models and also with control condition you can also do composite diffusion uh, in a, by just extending in painting and doing it serially and we use that implementations for creating our second baselines here the first one is using the blended diffusion latent diffusion and the second by a runway ml step uh, which is based on stable diffusion we also test a related approach of uh, paint by word and multi diffusion and that's what we'll be comparing against we do uh, different type of evaluations human surveys the automated methods the visual comparisons and we also validate it with an artist as you can see that ours uh, can visually see the superior results produced by uh, methods particularly the cd and uh, composite diffusion with control conditions and these are further visual comparisons and this is also validated by the automated methods where uh, content and spatial fidelity we get the highest scores and also in aesthetics and uh, a human preference uh, the surveys reveal a similar picture on a, a surveys done on the general population we score almost high in all the these param quality parameters and uh, and if for artists and designers who are even more uh, discerning we get a greater score in content and spatial fidelity while a comparable scores in the other qualities we also do a validation exercise with an artist we gave the input uh, 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 we got the input from the artist in terms of very rough sketches and the descriptions of the sketches and then we developed the artwork based on that which we validated with the artist and uh, the feedback is shared in the paper and uh, we find it mostly the artist found it very very satisfactory and finally we 
conclude that composite diffusion presents a novel way for artists and graphic designers to approach the art in a manner that is both intuitive and effective. 